Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to day 76 of commercial diving school. Today we got our dry suits, we took our final exam, and we did some scuba today, so I'm going to tell you all about that. But first, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, leave a like if you enjoyed this video, and leave any comments or questions for me down below. First off, I want to show you this dry suit. So let me take this off. So this is obviously the hood. Um, it's pretty nice material. I really like it. Um, I never worn a hood before. Secondly, this neck part is like strangling crap out of me. It's so tight. It's like, I don't know if you can tell, but it's like changing my voice. And it's just like really, really, really tight. Um, secondly, um, this thing is super, super hot. Like just being in it, you start to like sweat. Like you can kind of see like your sweat in the wrist and in the neck area. And um, also as, as well as the neck, the wrists are like super tight too. They're like crazy, um, like strangling, um, super tight. But they said it's supposed to be like that. Um, it's supposed to be tight in some areas and loose in other areas. Um, but this thing's actually pretty cool. Um, first off, I noticed that it has these like shoulder um, strap parts because we wear the harness that has our bailout bottle on it and um, it's it's kind of cool because this is like a hard like material um, that can kind of support the weight of the harness which I just noticed was really cool um, looks like it's made by Northern Diver um, and I don't know if it's called the Dive Master or not but um, that's what it says on it um, also, it's kind of cool. It has the CDA like school logo on it, like imprinted on it. It's not just like a sticker or something. It's actually like imprinted on the suit. So I think I thought that was pretty cool. Um, it has like a giant zipper like in the back. Um, it's like a super big heavy duty zipper. I don't know if you guys can see that, but the flap kind of like goes up. It's like a gigantic flap. And it like, it's like super hard to pull the zipper shut and everything. Um, and then in the center of the chest, you got like your fill um, where it hooks up. I guess it hooks up to the hat and you basically fill the dry suit with air and it'll keep you warm in extreme cold environments. Um, we're, we haven't used it so far because we're gonna be using it in Alcala because um, it's gonna be really deep so it's gonna get really cold so we're gonna to need to keep warm um, and this thing is like you know professional like heavy-duty stuff to keep you warm um, it also I think has a vent right here that you can adjust it has like a plus or minus that you can like spin around um, the fill also spins around um, so I guess you can if you're trying to the hose runs one way um, the dry suit um, also comes with a bag um, it comes with this cool bag it actually unzips like the whole thing like, um, normally bags just like would unzip at the top but this thing unzips all the way and it can completely open I don't think I've ever seen a bag that opens like completely um, and then it has a little pouch for like a repair kit so you can kind of work on it and I think that's what this is. It's like another little pouch um, that comes with uh, like maintenance stuff in it. I see like a box, it's like an unboxing video. Um, but yeah, dry suit seal lubricant. So I guess you need the lubricant for to make the seal. And it also comes with the hose, um, the pressure hose where I guess this like is a quick disconnect that goes here and I think one end goes to your hat um, so you fill it up um, but yeah also it has uh, pockets I don't know if you guys can see that but it has like a pocket um, that is like velcro so it's like a flap and then you got your other side that's more like a zipper that unzips and it's got this huge like D-ring on it that doesn't look like it ever comes off. 
Um, and then the suit ha and the booties are like all one piece, so it's like a onesie. Um, so it doesn't come off like the boots and everything. So uh, just in case y'all are wondering, it's all one piece and it all comes together. But um, I think that I covered everything about it. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it off now because it's extremely hot. super hot so it'll definitely keep you warm when it's like freezing cold but yeah anyways we got that um, dry suit today we get we basically tried it on in the um, shop that we get it where we get it issued and then we signed for it saying that we got it um, we also took the final exam it was 200 questions um, it was it wasn't that hard it was pretty easy um it was just a lot of questions so i've been in college before i've taken tons of tests and finals and midterms and all that stuff and it's pretty much the same as college and whereas um, it's not too difficult the questions it's just they for final exams they always overload you with so many questions that it's it's just hard to take a test when you're asked question after question after question and it's like hundreds of questions so um that was the most difficult part about it but i think i did really well on it i think i may know my score like i've heard hearsay that my score may have been like in the high 90s so i'm really happy with that um and i'm able to move on also what we did today was we have our dive log and our competency books um and Basically, our competency books um, get filled out for each module, and it's saying that we did certain things, like we did welding, we did welding underwater, um, and then we're going to do the dive bell, we're going to do the heliox, um, ch hyperbaric chamber, dive, um, all that kind of stuff. We got it up -to -dated, updated and signed off, and so we, we got our dive log. Uh, up to date and signed off as well so that's another thing that we did today and then the last thing we did was scuba um, basically prior to today we've done two scuba days and basically at the end of the day we did a couple of scuba diving skills you know one is the mask clear where you take your mask off and you're basically breathing with you know your mask in your hand and then you put it on and then you tilt your head back and then you blow the you know water out with your nose and you clear your mask another one is the um, regulator retrieval where you basically you spit out your regulator and then you breathe normal showing that you're blowing bubbles that you're exhaling and then you kind of swoop your arm around and recover it and put it back in um, and then there's also your buoyancy control where you show that you can um, inflate your regulator and you know how to um, get to neutral buoyancy um, we, so we did those skills and basically showed that we can do them um, and then <clears throat> we also got back into uh, the 20 foot tower where we um, basically showed that we can you know stay buoyant in that tower we can descend and we can clear our noses and everything or our ears um, and everything and equalize so that was basically our day for today it was pretty eventful we got a lot of stuff coming up um, still this week we got the wet bell which I'll try to take video of um, sorry <sighs> that thing is really choking my neck um, that wet suit, that dry suit but um, then we got our um orientation for Ocala and we already got we got our heliox which we're going to be on helium in the uh hyperbaric chamber so if you're interested in any of that stuff please stay tuned thank you so much for watching this video leave a like if you enjoyed um, leave any comments or questions for me down below 
Um, I hope you guys have a great one and I will see you in the next video. Peace.